All right, let's let's talk about Blue Gun Lancer for a bit. <clears throat> so people were asking me about tripods and engravements and stuff. This is called the five threes. Even though this is two and three, it's the same amount of diamond nodes. So technically, this is a five three. For example, this combat readiness level one is the most efficient. Level three, a combat readiness kind of sucks because it only gives uh, shield shield gain a measly like one to two percent buff. What the blue gun lancers usually do is they they go for a level one combat readiness and stack everything up on damage engravement. So what do you get in like NA? You usually get things like Grudge and Curse Stall. These are the generic engravements that most classes use. But if you don't have so in NA, this case would be a little bit harder. So Barricade is actually pretty good because Barricade, if you look at it here, it gives 16% damage if you have a shield up. Combat Radiance, you're going to have the shield up most of the time. So you will have this effect most of the time as well. A realistic engravement would be Barricade and level 1 Combat Radiance and you'll be ready for most raids. These two are universally used as in Grudge and Curse Stall. These are universally used as in all classes use it. Why? If you have level 3 of Grudge, it's 20% damage increase. If you have level 3 of Cursed Stall, you have 16% increase. But there's there's a penalty of, you know, you're, you, you heal less, and then you have a penalty of taking 20% more damage. But Gun Lancer, you're very tanky, so 20% damage additional is not going to be too much of a deal for you. And obviously, one of the best ones is Barricade. And you also have Stabilized, stabilized State. Stabilized State is if you have HP more than 80%, you have up to 16% of dam uh, additional damage. That means gun lancers usually have a lot of HP, like keep their HP up because they have a lot of shields. But this requires a lot of technical skills. As in, you can't get hit. You can't get hit too many times. And this is basically it. You don't need anything else. Something like adrenaline is is more like a cherry on top. What adrenaline does is it gives crit and damage as long as you keep your stack up. Blue gun lancer spams a lot of skills, so it's gonna be at max stacks most of the time. So that's pretty good too. So the main engravements you would look for is not grudge and curse stall, because curse to, grudge and curse stall is something that everyone looks for, because and, and you gotta look for it eventually. Some of the stuff that is realistic to get is barricade, and then you have stabilized state as well, and then you also have this uh, spirit absorption. Why spirit absorption? Because gun lancer is pretty slow, so I put level two on spirit absorption to get eight percent increase in movement speed and, and attack speed, and it helps a lot too. And then you have level one combat readiness in na if you have level three barricade and level one combat readiness you're good to go you want to add more you can add curse stall or you can add grudge but if you want to add more than that you just you just go from there when people are asking what are the good engravements only the realistic engravement that you can actually put in is barricade and then uh, barricade and combat readiness that's about it uh if everyone else goes like get this and this and this and this and this and all that stuff you need orange gears you need like all these stuff so uh it's pretty much impossible to do so they're teaching you uh way too much futuristic stuff now let's go to like skills right you have your counter here <laughs> Usually, I like to get my counter ready to go as fast as possible, so I have put it on the first one. For the blue skills, you don't, you just don't use the uh, the chain. This is more of a selective skill. Some people use it, some people don't. I'd rather put on a counter. Uh, let's go over the mandatory skills first. Like for example, Bash, like both both uh, red and blue uses it. You put in the armor sheath here because if you look at it, Bash is only cooldown of 10 seconds. It takes away 12% of armor of the boss. It lasts 10 seconds, so exactly the same. So as long as you have one Bash, you can enable this debuff on the boss 100% of the time as long as you keep hitting it so that's why people have just one bash this one also has an armor sheath but they don't use this because why would you you have you have a you have armor break heart 100% of the time why would you have two skills because it doesn't stack so the, instead you increase your attack speed and then you increase your damage and then you increase your damage most of the time your damage skills your tripod should be based on damage not like anything else now you have leap attack leap attack would be you know more this see, see out of the three you have damage so you pick damage and out of the three, you also have damage. And then you would have, this said it turns into a combo. So you do it twice really quickly. This one, it jumps too, it jumps too high. And it'll be a little harder to aim. This Gale Wind rune is very important because it makes your skill go faster. Okay, now let's go over the uh, Guardian Thunderbolt. You're dropping another Lightning Bolt and do additional damage. So obviously you would go for this. And the second one, you do a lot of damage. This is also damage related. So you will go for damage related stuff. And also this is damage related. Obviously you go for the damage related stuff. The tripods are very simple for Blue Warlord. Now for this one, it's a little bit different. If you look at it here, damage related here. And now you have a choice. Uh, increase in AOE or you got to get a shield while you're charging or your charge speed. So I prefer having a faster charge speed. So I put it on this one, but this is also pretty good because you, when you use this skill, you're gonna get shielded. So it's not a bad tripod to take. So this is more of a preference. And the third tripod is the right one, which is increases your damage the most. 
now you have your taunt which is your which it decreases the cooldown instead of you know inc you don't need to increase aoe when it, when it, the aoe is long enough already you would want to use taunt much more like much faster so you would you put it on the cooldown and then these two are not very good because you wouldn't you don't it says it increases your taunt seconds by you know like by 0.1 second or by 0.5 seconds i don't know what it would be at level five most of the bosses in the raid uh doesn't get taunted especially on the legion legion raids which i'm gonna go soon that this one is for creeps only so it would be for like a chaos dungeon but in this case this says if you taunt you're gonna get 30 percent shields and that's pretty damn good and for the third one you would obviously go for the left one because you will heal 20 percent more shield gauge and it will do additional three to plus nine percent more damage on head, head and back attack for 12 seconds not only warlord shaves off 12 seconds of armor it will also grant additional three plus nine percent damage on head attacks so it does three percent damage in normally but it will do three plus nine percent damage which is 12 on head and back attacks so that's almost 24 percent which is very good and then you have the Nelashia's energy obviously on cooldown some of the guys are recommending this instead this one increases your shield amount but later on in the raid you would rather have this instead because it cleanses cleanse is very good burnt is cleanse so if you go to a guardian raid gunnesser can use this nelashia's energy and cleanse your burn so i would recommend this instead of this instead of giving more shield because it doesn't really shields doesn't really matter if you're gonna die right with the with the debuff and shield amount is already increased at the third tripod which is on the right side it gives additional shield these are more of a preference if you want to provide more defense for your team you would use the guardian shield but if you want to do more crit you would be using uh judgment sword if you're in the field you will do more crit if you're in the field you do more uh defense is your teammate gonna assault you if you didn't click the cleanse one i don't think they'll know do you even take the cleanse if you have someone else with one yeah what i mean because it doesn't hurt to have more than one cleanse right now let's go to the raid uh and do like an actual actual raid to show you like the the play styles and stuff